In order to meet consistently the needs of our kids, we need to take care of ourselves. So today in this video, I want to talk with you about self-care. If you are a caregiver, if you are a parent, or if you work with children, your work is not easy. There is a quote from Dr. Karen Purvis that says that we cannot pour from an empty cup. And that sounds like a little bit selfish, but it's not. If you not if you are unable to take care of yourself, what's gonna happen? You don't have you won't have anything to give to your family or especially to your kids that are struggling with trauma right now. So I wanna invite you to learn a little bit with me today about three types of self-care that you can take. The first one is the long term. It's something that you're going to plan throughout the year and that is going to hold you to feel hope that you're going to have that time. Maybe it could be a vacation, maybe it could be some days apart that you're going to set just for yourself and your husband or maybe it's going to be a vacation for everyone. Another one is the short term self-care that you can do like maybe in a week, plan something that I space just for yourself. It could be just go for a walk or do something special in a short term where you're going to be taking care of, of yourself. It could be a massage. It could be going to a nail salon. It could be taking care of your hair. Another one, it would be the immediate self-care. How can you do that? Because sometimes when things fall apart, that is the moment that you need to think about yourself. And the first thing that you could do, you, you can choose anything you want that is gonna be helpful to you to self-regulate. For me, like going for a walk, taking deep breaths, or watching, um, listening to music, or even praying, that is super helpful. So, and also I want to talk with you about mindfulness. You know, it's super important for us to kind of be present and be mindful is just that. It's be present in that moment. It's be able to kind of like scan your body and control yourself and be aware of your own feelings, of your own triggers and of everything that you can do in order to control yourself so you can pour into your kids. And the word of God is so clear. And God says always to us, be still and know that I am God. So, and that tells me that we are never alone and we don't need to kind of freak out and worry too much when things fall apart because we are not alone doing this job. So I want you to be mindful of that. And once you have that like awareness about how important it is to take care of yourself and be present in the moment with you and with your family, you're gonna do much better.